Okay, so now we've gotten the tracks into the iPad in the zip file, and then I'm going to show you how to import everything into Aurea. So let's start Aurea. And the, uh, the project that I was working on before should be loaded and ready to go. Um, said it crashed last time, it's because I had too many things open, and uh, once I killed them, everything worked. So now I'm going to do a new project. And name it. Uh, I'm importing uh, about 21 tracks or so, so I'm going to say it's a 24 track project. You can always add or remove, or when you import, it'll add the extra tracks automatically. Alright, so here we go, new project. Okay, so now you see the zip file that was in there automatically, it starts on compressing the zip file, so that's what it's doing right now. We'll wait a minute for it to do that. Okay, so now the file is uncompressed. I'm going to go to. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to do this and not block the camera too much. Um, I'm going to go to menu. And we're going to import audio. And here we have the screen. So this is what I imported. Remember, I said I put it inside a folder. Now that's why. So it doesn't wind up just inside the big thing. All right, now here's all the track. Or here's all the tracks. So I'm just going to check them off in order and you see it's automatically adding the track that is going on to um, you can change that if you don't want it to go to that specific track so let's say I wanted um, electric to go to a different track I just hit that and I can send it to where I want and the plus adds a new track so I have 24 in there you see we only went up to 20 so I don't need to add any in this but here we go and then I just hit OK and now it's going to import them. So again, this is going to take a little while. I'll uh, just edit so you don't have to sit here and watch three minutes of a line moving across the screen. There we go. So 20 of 20. So if we look in the tracks, here's all the tracks. We can maximize them. And you see some were stereo tracks. It automatically did that. And some are mono tracks. And... I have a few extras here, so I'm going to hit this multi-select button, select these three extra tracks, and delete them. Yes, I want to delete them. All right, and I'm left with my 20 track session, so here we go. And boom, eight buses, so on and so forth. So let's hear it. Okay, so now that everything's imported, now we can go ahead and uh, just play the track, and you should hear it. This is, of course, everything at equal volume, so it doesn't sound right. That's a uh, track of rain that we did. So I'll shut that off for now. Let's get the drums sounding a little less uh, born in the USA for now. Okay, so a little basic mix going there. I'm going to assign all the drums to subgroup one here. Whoop. So 
my, my aim is really bad. I'm trying to not block it too much with the camera, and I'm a righty, not a lefty. So, um, okay. So you see, all our drums now are coming to subgroup one. So I'll just turn that up a little bit. Put my favorite drum plug-in on here. It's a nice place to start with drums. So you can kind of hear it. Mike's pointed the other way, but good enough. So that's how you would set your session up. And there we have, we imported all the uh, tracks consolidated from Reaper into Aurea. <laughs>